Hi everybody, I'm Chris Fernandez with Eldorado News. I'm here in Sugarland, Texas, and we're here with John Foster. John Foster is here with Grand Slam Tennis. John Foster is a USTPA elite professional in coaching and teaching. John's going to let us know what we're here today. Our audience will find out what we're here for today. Thank you, Chris. We're here today to talk about ambidextrous tennis teaching. And what I'm going to show you is phenomenal. All the kids that I have, 30 of them under 11 years old, they can all serve left-handed and right-handed. Most of them are right-handed. There's a few that are ambidextrous, but a lot of them do it better with their left hand and they're right-handed and they'll tell you, you'll see in some of the videos that. So I've been doing this for about a year and a half. I've known it for about 10 or 15 years that when you teach somebody they're right-handed and you're teaching them with the left hand, they get better with the right hand when you go back. So that's why I did it. But a few of the kids I noticed that when they when they did it with their left hand, that they were actually better with the left hand motion, the movement, than the right hand. And I, and I felt like years ago that if I just kept going with this kid, I could have a kid serving left hand and right hand. Well, for the last year and a half, I've been working on it. I've been, I have a methodology, which I'm going to show you all and explain how I bring the kids out and I work with them. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. And you'll see video after video of Tia and Paige and Naman and et cetera, et cetera. These, watch these kids work. And you're going to notice how their left hand is better than the right hand uh, in the service motion. So that's what I've been working on. A few other things, you know, I teach a one-handed backhand and a two-handed backhand. Uh, top spin volley everybody works on, which we're going to talk about a little bit. But I can have 40, 50-pound-year-old kids hitting a one-handed backhand. And, and the future is both one-handed and two-handed backhands used together. So it's situational. It's not I use one or the other, it'll be situational. So that's different also besides the serving right hand, left hand, Chris. Okay, John, thank you. Thanks for being here today. We have just found out and learned what is ambidextrous coaching, teaching. And for those coaches out there, you're going to be getting this real soon. And for the remainder of our session, we're going to see the examples of what John is talking about. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We have Ryan, who is uh, pretty much starting out, so you see me tossing it over his head here. He's one of 40 kids that I have under 11 years old who are doing the ambidextrous right hand, left hand. He's a lot better now. He can actually serve left hand and right handed. And what's, what's really interesting about both these kids, they're right handed, but they both enjoy, if you talk to them, they like the left hand, they like it better, even from the start and they're snapping the wrist, they use the correct grip, they hit a slice serve off of both sides, and a slice overhead, I make them slice. Uh, a lot of coaches uh, teach the flat bump, there's no bump, and they all learn how to slice with the correct grip, continental grip, and, and hit that ball. Now out of, like I said, out of the 70, 80 students that I have currently right now at Grand Slam, 40 of them are under 11 years old. Tia is currently ranked number one in the 10 and unders in Texas. She's nine years old. She has a bad birthday. <laughs> so she's nine years old, barely, playing a lot of 10-year-olds and just cleaning house. All right. So a lot of shadow swings. And this is about six months ago, so they're a lot better right now. Tia can actually serve left-handed. Two sisters here. You got Catherine on the left and Claire on the right. Claire uh, on the right there is a strong one. Catherine has a lot more fluid, smooth motion. Their tosses are perfect off of both hands. That's another thing. You have to work on that toss off of both hands. Teach them how to, how to uh, not toss the ball, but let the ball just come out of their hands with a straight arm. And they both have beautiful tosses. I have some in slow motion that are just perfect. And you'll see they're close to the net. They're a lot better right now. They'll, they'll be playing tournaments and serving. Tia. Okay, you can see how strong she is here. She loads up, uses her legs. She really explodes on balls. She even does it on the backhand. Her forehand's tremendous. You're not going to see it here, but her forehand, her forehand is super. Um, number one 10-year-old in Texas currently. And could be our, my first national champion with Grand Slam Tennis. Well, please visit us at uh, www.grandslamtennisacademy, John Foster, 832-623-0994. Love to talk to you, hear your opinions, and you saw her there in the modern stance. 
look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Bye.